Welcome back to Puerto Rico Life. This is Jeffrey Holtz, and I am here in my beautiful condo in Isla Verde, Puerto Rico. And I um, just wanted to check in here on this video and share with you some of my thoughts on pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone and why that's important, particularly if you're considering moving to a foreign country or to a different island or to a different place. It doesn't really matter if you're moving to from Michigan to Tennessee like I did a decade ago, or if you're moving from Tennessee to Puerto Rico, it's going to create some uncertainty and I'm gonna share with you in this video some thoughts about that. Now, before I do that, I wanna um, tell you that if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you the furniture that I bought for my condo because the last time we did a walkthrough video, it was completely empty except for my air mattress. And I am going to also tell you a little bit about my thoughts on Act 60, Act 20, Act 22, the tax benefits of living in Puerto Rico and why they might not be the right thing for me and consequently might not be the right thing for you. And, and to talk more about that in the future, I'm actually going to be interviewing an international tax expert in the next couple of weeks and we'll get that video posted as soon as we can. It is scheduled and I look forward to sharing that with you as well. All right, so comfort zone. So I have a couple of thoughts on this. The first thing is when you uh, do something scary, when you do something big, and I shared this in uh, some thoughts about this inside the Puerto Rico Life Facebook group. And one of the people in there actually reached out and said that she felt like she wanted to uh, get to Puerto Rico, but as a, a single uh, woman, it was scary to her. And my answer was, yeah, it's scary to me too. Like it's scary. Like, I've never lived in Puerto Rico before. Now, I've been coming here since my honeymoon, so about 18 years now. Mrs. Puerto Rico Life and I have been here at least a dozen times over that period, probably for a total, though, of only about 10 weeks. So we've been married 18 years. We spent 10 weeks of that 18 years here in Puerto Rico, which, granted, is more than we've spent a lot of places, but it is not enough to know for sure. Then there's also the issue of insurance. Now, I did whole videos on the things that you have to figure out before you move to Puerto Rico before. But, you know, there's the issue of the insurance and, and my health challenges and the fact that I had leukemia and melanoma and all this other stuff. And I've got to sort that out. And then there's the fact that my, my wife, Mrs. Puerto Rico Life, is going to have to quit her job, which means we're going to lose her insurance. We're going to lose that income. So there's a lot of scary stuff that happens if I move to Puerto Rico. But here's the thing, when a decade ago, I moved from Michigan to Tennessee, um, I changed careers, I was a bankruptcy attorney and I went to work in transportation. It was really, really scary. I didn't know what was gonna happen, but I pushed myself outside of my comfort zone because I knew that I needed to do something different. And when I pushed myself outside of my comfort zone, it's when all the growth happened. It's when all the great things happened. And that's kind of the key takeaway that I want you to get in this video, which I realize is not really about Puerto Rico. It's really about, um, going for your dreams, hopes, and goals. So I have a couple of thoughts about that. So I had a dream to live in the Caribbean. That was a big dream of mine. I want to live in the Caribbean. And in fact, right at the end of this video here, I'm going to, um, sorry, there's something in the ocean that I don't know what it is. Hold on one second. All right, well, sorry about that, I'm back. So it appears that uh, whatever that is, it's uh, somebody swimming with a inflatable raft and they're out quite a ways. And it's very confusing, and I still don't know what they're doing, but they appear to be fine, so no worries there. Anyway, what I was saying is all of the growth comes from pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. When you set big goals like I had, the goal to move to the Caribbean, um, uh, there's, there's a process that I like to follow that I tell people, my coaching students uh, uh, in the real estate world, uh, there's, there's a simple process to living your dream life. And... Um, that is, when you have a big dream, you have to write it down. Because when you write your dreams down, that's when they really become goals. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, someday I would like to do this. Someday I'd like to have that. Someday I'd like to do this. Well, I've done a lot of really great things, like climb Mount Kilimanjaro, like go on safari in Africa, like make multiple trips to Egypt. Like I have a trip planned to Antarctica coming up here soon. Um, and now I have a place here in Puerto Rico where I can spend time, including uh, right now where I'm still watching this 
people in the ocean, which is very strange. If they're still there when I get done with this thought, I will uh, be sure to show you, uh, show you what's going on here. They appear to be coming in closer to shore, so I think that they're fine. Uh, and there's other people down there on shore watching them as well, but I, I don't really understand. It's like a deflated raft. I'm actually going to show you because it's so strange. Um, so hold on, let me zoom out just a little bit here, and we're going to go take a quick look. By the way, you can see my furniture. I promised you get a chance to see my furniture. Um, so as you can see, uh, well, maybe you can see where they go. They're, dead, they're gone. It's <laughs> funny. Uh, where? Oh, where? In the ocean. It's got to be like right behind my head. So hold on a second. Yeah, there they are right there. So we don't really know what's going on with that, but they appear to be fine. They're moving closer in even as we speak, so it should be fine. In fact, they're almost all the way back into shore, which is why I lost them for a second there. But uh, as you can see, I have uh, successfully gotten some furniture in here, and uh, including beds. So now it can really feel like I am living my Puerto Rican life. Um, haven't even... <laughs> You know, we haven't even uh, put the sheets on the bed yet. I did put it on my own personal bed, and sorry, it's a bit of a mess here. But, uh, oh yeah, I'm looking at a dresser. Also, not uh, not fully uh, processed yet. But regardless, I am, uh, I am making progress is the point towards my goal. Anyway, so here's the four step process that I use. One, when you have a dream, you write it down because when you write down your dream, it becomes a goal. That's step one. Step two, okay? Step two is going to be to take that goal and break it into steps because when you break steps, you've created a plan. And then step three is to take action on the plan. If you write down your dreams, break them into steps, you first you create a goal, then you create a plan, and you follow that plan. You can live the life of your dreams. That's what I did to get myself here in Puerto Rico. That's what I did to get myself to travel around the world, to buy real estate. I remember the first time I bought, they talk about pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. The first time I bought a piece of real estate was a $30,000 condo, which I split with a friend, uh, Travis, and Travis and I put $15,000-ish each into this deal. Now, the problem with it was I was terrified. I didn't have any money. I couldn't afford to lose it. And I didn't know what I was doing. Now, I buy apartment complexes regularly for millions of dollars. Um, and buying a $30,000 single-family condo wouldn't scare me at all. But the thing is, if I hadn't bought that first condo in 2011, hadn't pushed myself out of my comfort zone, then I wouldn't be here right now in San Juan, Puerto Rico, living an amazing and wonderful life. So what I wanted to share with you all and why I'm going to make this video is that whatever you want, whether it is you're watching this channel because you want to move to Puerto Rico or whether you just find me entertaining or whatever it might be, you have things in your life that you want and you owe it to yourself to go after those things. It's important. In fact, I would say it's essential not to let someday be your strategy because someday may never come. If you want to live in Puerto Rico, you need to start making progress towards it. First, you need to write down on a big whiteboard in your living room, I want to live in Puerto Rico, or I'm moving to Puerto Rico, or that's what I did actually with this channel, right? The very first video I made, which I'll put up there, I think, it was, don't tell my wife I'm moving to Puerto Rico. I did that because I wanted to declare that I was moving to Puerto Rico. I didn't know how it was going to happen or how I was going to do it or what that was going to look like, but I wanted to declare that I was going to do it because that's the first step. You make that declaration, and then the second step is to break it down into steps, and that's what I did next, and that's what I've been doing on this channel. I've been thinking through the process, and I've been sharing this with you as I think through this process, what I think is important, and I'm going to continue to do that as I continue to complete this move. I've been here in my condo for the last couple of days. I have this place rented for the next 12 months. Well, really, only for 10 and a half more months because I've already had it for a month and a half. And in that month and a half, I've only spent seven nights here. So, so far, I cannot claim to have fully achieved my dream of living in the Caribbean. But what I can tell you is I have a place here. I have furniture here. I have beds here. I have plans to spend more time here. I have 
already bought my plane tickets for January, February, and then March and April I plan on spending most of the time here, and then I will decide about residency and how that's going to work, and if I'm gonna get my driver's license, and if I'm gonna buy a car, and if I'm gonna stay here long term. But the thing is, it doesn't really matter if I do or not. It doesn't matter if I'm worried about the tax advantages or I don't want the tax advantages. None of that stuff really matters. What really matters is that I push myself out of my comfort zone, and even though I still feel a little angst, you know, and I made a whole video about having second thoughts about being here, even though I still have a little angst, I know that by pushing myself out of my comfort zone, I'm growing, I'm learning, and if I don't end up here, it's okay. But I think I'm going to because, I mean, honestly, who wouldn't want to live right there? I mean, it's just stupid. And if you look at my thumbnail from this video, you'll see that, uh, that I uh, saw an amazing rainbow this morning. And... Uh, uh, if you follow the on this far into the video, I would love it if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. So go do those things. And, you know, if you haven't already, join the Puerto Rico Life Facebook group, which is in the description below. And, uh, you know, feel free to reach out to me there or by emailing me anytime. And be sure to look out for that video that I'm going to do with international tax expert Peter Paulson, who's going to tell us all about why we should or should not move to Puerto Rico for the tax advantages and how they work and what we need to know. Uh, and that video will be coming out in just a few weeks. And if I don't talk to you before then, have a Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad. And I look forward to seeing you in the great sunny island of Puerto Rico. So thank you so much and have a great day.